there. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to use the conditional formatting tool in Microsoft Excel. In this particular uh, video, we'll be using Microsoft Excel 2010. Here, let me just show you this spreadsheet in front of you. This is a, an exemplar spreadsheet showing you different pupils, in this case in a classroom for argument's sake, and what test scores they've got, A all the way over to B. Now conditional formatting, all that does is it changes the colours, maybe the colour of the text, it could be the colour of the background, of the, the cells, to a particular colour uh, depending on what value those cells have. So for example, let's say if a pupil has an A, um, I want to change the background to green. If a pupil gets a B score, we can change it to orange. If it's a C score, we'll change it to yellow. And if it's a D score, we'll change it to red. In order to do that, uh, you need to be familiar with Microsoft Excel and its layout. And the top ribbon section here in the Home tab, if you double click on it, across the right side here under the Style section, you can see the conditional formatting icon. Click on it um, and you've got lots of different options to play around with. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be creating a new rule because we want to set some rules up here. Um, but those rules are only going to be selected based on these values here. So let's first and foremost select what we want to change the colour of. So it's these values here. Um, then secondly, let's go on to the um, conditional formatting icon. Click on it and select new rule. We click on new rule and in new rule here we want to say uh, format if the cell contains okay the second option here because that's the rule type we want to use so format only cells with cell value is equal to uh, so if this cell value is equal to a let's type it in we want to format and bear with it Remember, we want to fill the background in a particular colour, in this case, green. Fill, change to green, click on OK. Yeah, so we want it to do that. Click OK, and there you go. Um, so, depending on the colour, OK, if it's A, it'll change to green. The same again for B, another new rule. Let's click on the second one, equal to, this time, let's say it's equal to B, format we said it was going to be orange click on OK click on OK same again it's already highlighted conditional formatting new rule second one cell value is equal to this time C if it's equal to C we want to change it to yellow and this time conditional formatting new rule I'm going the long winded way just to show you the basics of how to use conditional formatting so choose the second one again this time we're going to change the cell value to D uh, sorry to red if it's D click on format click on fill choose red click OK now look look at what happens if I change this grade let's say pupil I did amazingly well you got a C click off it that color should now change to yellow let's say pupil K we did this test and this time got an A click on A click off it and notice how it changes to green you could also change the color of the writing highlight it same sort of way conditional formatting uh, you can choose highlight cell rules if it's equal to this time a different way if that cell is equal to um, let's say B you can change it to an automatic and get the predefined colors here um, or you can choose custom format here and go through and change the fonts type of font color and the fill color there um, in that way well I've just shown you um, how to use conditional formatting depending on the values change the color of the cells um, depending on the value that's inputted in front of you. I hope that's helped you in understanding the basics of conditional formatting and how to change colors of particular cells based on what values in there. Uh, thank you for watching this video.
please subscribe, like and share.